Hi, in this video I'm taking a look at the DeLonghe Microthermic Flat Panel Radiator Heater. And I have to say right off the bat that this is one of the best space heaters that I have ever tried for main two reasons. The first one is that it is nearly silent and the second one is that it doesn't seem to dry out the air like other heaters can, which is really good for my eyes since I do sort of suffer from dry eyes from time to time. Also the form factor is relatively unique and I think it looks pretty cool too, although it, the look of it does tend to take a little bit of getting used to because it is different than other space heaters. Basically, this incorporates what they call a microthermic panel. So there's a grill right here, and then underneath the grill is a panel. Uh, and it doesn't get super, super hot, which is also a good safety feature as well. Uh, so even if you touch it, you know, it's not going to totally burn you for a few seconds, even if it's on full blast. It does. As you can see, it comes with these wheels that you can wheel it around. It's also very light, um, it's about 10 pounds, so it's uh, very easy to move from room to room. Also, the wheels come off and it can actually be mounted right on a wall if you want. So you can actually mount it directly onto a wall, which is kind of cool um, you know, if you want to do that. And it comes with a little mounting kit uh, to enable, enable you to do that. The, con the controls are on the right hand side here. On the top you have a three position dial. You've got off, medium, and high. Let me go ahead and turn it on. And you probably can't hear anything. Um, it's very, very, it's relatively silent, which is really nice. It just, it just emits a low buzz, sort of similar to the hum of a fluorescent fixture or something like that. But really from about four feet away or so, I can't even hear or tell that it's on at all. It's on right now. and. Um, it's relatively pleasing. I, I'm real close to it and I uh, still hardly even hear it. Now let me go ahead and turn it off because I don't really need it on right now. Uh, the bottom dial is the temperature level selector. Now it does not use uh, actual number so you can't set it to like 68 degrees for instance. It just goes from a cold setting all the way up to 6 which is the high, you know, hottest setting. But I have found that it works pretty well because once you dial it in and find out you know, your best level, you can pretty much just leave it there and it will heat the room nicely to a temperature that you like and it'll then shut off and then turn back on, you know, when it gets colder again. Um, so once you find your right level, you can pretty much set it and forget it and it works quite well. When it's not on, it's not drawing hardly any power. I did measure it and it's drawing less than one watt of power um, when it's not actually on. So that's really a plus. And in terms of how much power this does take, on the low setting, it takes 750 watts. And on the high setting, it takes 1500 watts. I have found the low setting to be perfectly adequate for my room. However, if you want a blast of air or you want to heat up the room faster, using the higher setting will certainly work for you. It also has a cool setting. Uh, on the lowest setting, it has a, um, on, the, on the lowest setting on the dial, it has a little snowflake icon and that is an anti-freeze mode. So if you have a room such as a basement maybe or, or a garage or something that you just never want it to uh, get below freezing, um, it will only, if you set it on that mode, the snowflake mode on the temperature dial, it will only kick in when it gets 41 degrees or lower to prevent the room from freezing. It has a couple of different safety features as well. Uh, it only works in a vertical mode. So if this falls over, you know, flat or something, it'll automatically shut off. Also, if it starts getting too hot, it has a protector in there where it'll automatically shut off as well. And then you're not ex directly exposed to the heating element because you've got this grill here as well. So I think it's a relatively safe heater. It also stows away for the summer quite easily. You can put this against a wall in the back of your closet or the side of your closet uh, quite easily. Uh, you can also slide it underneath a bed if you want to, to stow it away. Um, you know, just make sure it's unplugged when you stow it away, of course. Um, you know, but it being relatively flat, uh, you can stow it away fairly easily. Let me go ahead and show you the back of it. The heat emanates from one side, from this side here, and the back of it does not get hot at all. That is why you can actually mount it onto a wall if you want to. And this is metal here, um, so you know, the heat doesn't emanate this way. You can actually put this against something like a wall and don't have to worry about the wall behind it. Uh, so that works quite well. And again, it's quite light as I'm lifting it here it doesn't hardly weigh anything. So it's easy to move from room to room, really. Certainly a lot easier than an oil-filled radiator heater because those tend to be pretty heavy. So the dimensions of this are about 27 inches wide and I think 24 inches high. Uh, so it's not real super big, although it, 
does seem a bit bigger than other space heaters that I've had in the past. Although it's certainly flatter. And I think it looks better than like a radiator type heater, for instance. I just think it looks cooler. Now let me talk a little bit about this heater versus some other kinds of space heaters that I've had in the past. The one I had right before this was a Lasco ceramic heater that used forced air to heat up the room. And that heater had two negatives about it. The first one was that every time it would kick in and start the fan up, it would be a little bit noisy and kind of wake me up if it was in my bedroom. So I wouldn't get a very good night's sleep with that heater. Although it did heat up the room fairly fast, it would keep going on and off and stuff like that and bother me every time it did because it would make noise. Second of all, ceramic type heaters tend to dry out the air a bit. So if you're sensitive to you know, having your eyes dry out or whatever, uh, you know, that could be a real negative because those types of heaters do tend to dry, to dry out the air. Whereas this DeLonghi mycothermic panel heater does not dry out the air. Uh, so that's a real plus and it's also silent. So, you know, the first time I used it, I really noticed um, I got a much better night's sleep because I didn't even notice when it was on. I couldn't even hear it. So that's really a plus. Now also I've had uh, their oil-filled radiator type heaters before. Those tend to heat the room pretty well and do it relatively quietly. Although the radiator type heaters do click and make noise as they're cooling up and heating down a little bit more than this one. Also, the radiator type heaters don't look as neat as this one. I think this one looks cooler and you know, neater than a radiator type heater. And then lastly, the radiator type heater is heavier, so it's a little bit harder and cumbersome to move from room to room, whereas this one is uh, very, very light and pretty easy to move from room to room. It's really a comforting heater to use, I have to say, and uh, I really don't regret the purchase at all. It cost me about $70, and I think it's well worth the money. I'll post a link uh, in the description field of this video below uh, so you can find out where to get one. So to sum up, I'm quite happy with this heater and all that it can provide. In terms of all the things that it does well, such as the uh, comforting heat that it provides, uh, the near silent operation, uh, the fact that it can be mounted on a wall if you want to, uh, the fact that it does not dry the air out, and also the look and form factor of it is pretty nice. Now, if I had to cite any negatives with it, uh, it would only be that it does not have a remote control to turn it on and off. However, you can install an inline remote control uh, on the power cord. Just make sure it's a heavy duty model because this can take up to 1500 watts. So you wanna make sure you get a heavy duty remote control uh, that is at least 15 amps. Now, on the low setting, this heater takes 750 watts, and on the high setting, it takes 1500 watts. For me, the low setting works quite well, and I have found that uh, I've got the temperature selector dialed in so I can just pretty much set it and forget it, and I never have to adjust that, and I can just put it on low, and it'll heat the room to about 68 to 70 degrees quite nicely. So the lack of having a remote control is not too big of a deal uh, because in the wintertime, I don't have to turn it on and off that often, but I can install an inline on and off remote control uh, if I want to. And also when this thing is not on, it takes less than one watt of power, uh, if any watts. So it's quite energy efficient that way, in that when it's not actually on and heating, it's not actually taking up power. So thanks for watching this video. Again, this has been my look of the DeLonghi Microthermic Flat Panel Radiator Heater. And I think DeLonghi generally makes pretty good products for the price. And this is certainly no exception. I'm quite happy with this heater in general. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. And I'll see you in my next video.